Hi guys, this is Dr. Frajan. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Like always, it's such an honor to connect with you. Today I want to talk about the importance of recognizing what you give your attention to. The importance of recognizing what, you're give, what you give your attention to throughout the day. Okay? Remember this. Whatever you give your attention to, you give your energy to. Whatever you give your attention to, you give your energy to. So it's not your spouse. It's not your colleagues. It's not uh, how life is unfolding. It's what you're giving your attention to. Okay? Because whatever you focus on, whatever you over-focus on, that's what that increases. So that's something that you want to extremely, you want to internalize. <clears throat> so what I want you to start thinking on is, I and say to yourself, I have control on what I put my attention to. The goal is to lower the volume links, linked to the emotion. For instance, let's say something happens and you give your attention to that, right? Because you're annoyed with some person or you, because they did something to you and you're upset over that and you start uh, putting your attention to it, you start ruminating over it. What, what can you do? You want to sit, stop and jot what emotion is linked to it. Stop and jot what emotion is linked to it. So, okay, let's say some, you're annoyed by somebody. Why? What is it that they did? What is that emotion that's, get, that's, that's, that's linked to this? Oh, is it exclusion? Is it hurt? Is it anger? Is it uh, uh, the person's not prioritizing you, right? So you want to go back to this. It's linked to a trauma, right? A, 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 an extreme pain. So you want to really, really want to stop and jot the emotion linked to the event. Next, the goal is to create coherence with your... Instead, the goal is to create coherence with your successes, abilities, and the greatness in your life. So that's where you want to put your attention to. You want to put your attention to stillness, to nothing, where you create coherence with your successes, abilities, and the greatness in your life. You want to connect with the abundance, inspiration that you feel. You want to start feeling those emotions. And you can do this through meditation, right? The goal, the uh, one easy method that you can use is to just meditate. Meditate helps align your brain waves. It allow it. It creates those avenues of releasing the negative energy in your life and increasing the abundance in your life the coherence in your life, the creativity in your life, the space for creativity in your life. So that's what you want to remember. So again, going back to reminding you that whatever you give your attention to, you give your energy to. So choose consciously what you will give your attention to throughout your day. How will you process things that unfold? How much attention will you give it to? give, give to it? And how much will you just quickly release it? Feel it and release it. Again, it's not the circumstances in life. It's how you, what your mindset is about it, what you choose to do with it, right? You have to have a mindset of, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be a victim to any circumstance in my life and have that mentality. I'm not going to give my attention to anything not conducive to my life. I'm not going to do it. I will process it. I will feel it. I will let, release it, but I will not sit there and give it my attention because that's where my energy is going to go. That's where my energy is going to get depleted. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Take care of yourself. You guys rock.